Yatad, good morning. Thank you so much for joining in. Well, you know, Philip Capital in its note suggests that by FY27, you will have an occupancy of more than 65%, which could add around 500 crore rupees to your top line as well. Do you agree with it? They expect almost doubling of your revenues in the next three to four years. Hi, good morning. Uh, yes, I think uh, the Philips Capital report is pretty much uh, on the line that, you know, the growth trajectory of a company has been. Uh, over the last, uh, you know, few years, the company has been growing on a similar pace. And for next two, three years forward also, uh, we do expect a similar uh, growth trajectory uh, to what is said in the report. Uh, this is primarily due to two, three major aspects. Uh, you know, first aspect is there's still a lot of occupancy ramp up that is yet to be seen in our hospitals. Two of our hospitals, especially the Greater Noida and the Nord Extension Hospital, which you know renovated in 2018 and 2019 respectively, uh, still uh, are in a you know a growing phase. They still haven't reached a maturity phase. So that's where the occupancy ramp up is bound to come. And another uh, big reason we feel uh, for this growth for uh, for next two to three years is going to come from our average revenue per occupied bed. Uh, you know our RPOP has increased around 10% year on year, and uh, quarter on quarter also we do expect uh, good growth there. So, uh, yes, we sort of agree where the report is uh, guiding towards the growth trajectory of next two to three years. Yathat, good morning. Thank you so much for joining in. You spoke of the two hospitals that are yet to reach the maturity phase. By when is that likely to happen? One, and part two of my question being, so you, uh, since you're speaking of hospitals, you take, talk to us about the Faridabad hospital as well. By when, uh, what, what are the expectations that you have from this, uh, for this financial year? Yeah, so I think the... Uh, the earlier two hospitals I was mentioning, uh, we feel that in two, two and a half years time, these two hospitals should be touching an occupancy of close to 70, 75%. And the good part is even then, uh, after two and a half years, we are adding bed capacity to both these hospitals. So the new occupancy uh, uh, that will reach saturation in two and a half years will still, you know, uh, add to new beds. So around 200 beds and 250 beds are being added in both these two hospitals and the bed will be available after two and a half years. So when in two and a half years these two hospitals reach uh, optimized utilization, we will still have new uh, capacity to further expand and, you know, ramp up the occupancy. As far as the, the Faridabad hospital is concerned, that's the hospital that we recently acquired. Uh, last quarter was its first, uh, year, uh, first quarter of operation. Uh, this is a... You know, very good infra uh, hospital of 200 beds located in Faridabad. Uh, we feel that uh, the 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 initial promise that this hospital has shown, uh, both in terms of the uh, you know patients that are coming in, as well as the renowned and reputed doctors of not just Faridabad but across uh, mm. Delhi and CR who are joining us, uh, should be giving good results in this hospital. And we feel uh, that the first year of this hospital should be uh, uh, you know by uh, 15 months of the start of the hospital, we should be looking to break even even in the Faridabad hospital. Okay, break even in the first 15 months of operations there. You know, you spoke about how ARPOB is increasing by 10% on a YY basis. This is expected to continue. So currently, the average ARPOB is around 30,000. What will happen to this once your mix changes? You are looking at more share of high-value specialties coming up. So how does ARPOB move uh, in that case? Will it be more than 10% growth that you'll look at? Yeah, that's correct because a share of super specialty services are increasing now. You know, oncology is now contributing to close to 10% of the overall group, which used to be 3% uh, a year back. Even in a Nord Extension Hospital, uh, oncology is now contributing to 17%. Uh, similarly, our other specialties like neurosurgery, cardiology, uh, as well as transplant program, as the share of these specialties increasing, the growth in the RPOP. Uh, would be uh, more. So, uh, you know, last year we grew around 10% uh, in the years forward. We expect a bit uh, more growth as, uh, as far as the ARPOP is concerned. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, everything is looking good. You have uh, expansion plans, uh, CapEx plans in place and some new hospitals coming up as well. Just wanted some clarity on two of the issues. One was the update on the income tax uh, rate issue which happened back in October 2023. But is there an update on that? And what is the update on the Jhasi land issue? This is something which investors are awaiting. Yeah, see, I think uh, the company has, uh, you know, moved forward with both of the issues. Uh, as far as the income tax is concerned, uh, you know, the official uh, report uh, was submitted uh, as, as far as the appraisal report is concerned. And the official report should uh, usually takes around two years' time. As far as we are aware, as of now, there has been no 
uh, you know, uh, finding in terms of any transaction or any, uh, you know, major impact that the company is forecasting. So we feel uh, from the income tax audit that uh, the report that would be coming in the coming year's time should not be affecting at all as far as the operational or any financial performance of the company is concerned. Uh, as far as the Jhansi land issue is concerned, you know, we did uh, update our uh, investors that that issue is being now uh, held at the uh, court there uh, as far as Madhya Pradesh is concerned. So we are quite confident uh, with what we have received as the initial uh, communication from the officials there that uh, the land that belongs to the hospital uh, as well as the land parcel that all the other companies in that area are operating uh, sh uh, should be okay and should be cleared very soon. But however, uh, even the Jhansi Osha Hospital has been functioning normal uh, uh, since the beginning and there has been no impact both as far as the operational and financial performance of that hospital is concerned. All right, Yatharth, we leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining in and talking to us about the road ahead for the company. Wish you good luck for FY25. Time for a short break. We return with market technicals. Mitesh Thakkar joins in with a chart check as well as his top trading bets. Stay tuned. Back on the other side.